Richie. That's quite a win we've got going tonight. We were talking about it last night. We're talking about it again tonight because we still have this doggone wind advisory. Northwest winds tonight, 25 to 35 miles an hour. A classic spring-like setup here in North Texas on the first day of winter. Look at that. We were pushing 80 degrees this afternoon. Of course, it all comes to an end tomorrow. It, we've got lots of rain that's going to move in and maybe a few snowflakes late tomorrow night and Saturday morning. Uh, on the bright side, it will be a little warmer tonight than it was last night. 30 was the official low. We'll be in the upper 30s for lows tonight. Now, weather with meteorologist Jay Ritchie. Now that's the way the sky cam is supposed to look. Last night, if you were watching the broadcast, it was shaking around all over the place. It was all dusty. We had a little dust storm blowing across North Texas. Look at that. Nice, steady shot, bright lights, great visibility. Things are getting back to normal. Well, it's going to be kind of cold tonight, tomorrow morning. We'll start the day out at about 30 degrees. But look at this. We more than double that by the afternoon hours. We're talking about highs into the mid-60s with lots of sun. Three big suns right across the board there. Looks like a slot machine lining up there. Good-looking day for tomorrow if we can get through that cold start in the morning hours. We only got into the low 50s today. That's actually pretty typical for this time of the year, but after hitting 70, uh, 72 degrees yesterday, quite a cool down as that cold front blasted through. It really took a lot off of our afternoon high temperatures, but as you saw, we're going to get some of that back tomorrow as that west wind starts to kick in. Already down to 35 in Denton, Fort Worth. You've got 39 upper 30s in Mineral Wells in Wichita Falls. Terrell, 39, same thing in Corsicana. Love Field, the warmest on this graphic at 41. Paris, close to freezing already, down to 34. Skies are clear. That cold front really did a number on us. Uh, again, temperatures have dropped. The humidity is way down. And we've got high pressure starting to build in. So that means, finally, the winds have started to die down. We've got a west or northwest wind at 9 right now. Look at that dew point, down to 19 degrees relative humidity. Only 39%, 42 the current temperature at DFW Airport. Again, it's going to be a cold night tonight. It already feels like it's down to 37. Outline areas, the air temperature will get down into the upper 20s tonight, but lots of sunshine tomorrow, so we should have no problem heating things right on up. High pressure, and there you can see what it's doing. High pressure generally gives us clear skies. We're clear from Colorado all the way down through to the Texas Gulf Coast. Now, a little bit different scenario. Out to the east, that cold front that dropped our temperatures continues to push to the east. We're seeing rain develop right along the edge of that front, and this rain is gradually going to change over to snow within the next couple of days, so New England is going to have another few inches of snow on the ground by Thursday night. For us, a clear cold night is going to give way to a clear warm day tomorrow. Two big cells of high pressure in place are going to mean some very quiet weather over the next several days. And there's that snowstorm taking shape in the northeast and a little bit of snow for the upper Midwest as well. Nothing for us, though, no precip for the next several days. We're looking clear and dry and much warmer tomorrow afternoon. We'll say about 66 degrees. Tonight, clear and cold, not as windy as last night, not as dusty either, uh, an officially less dusty forecast. Lows will be around 30 degrees. Some spots will get down into the upper 20s tonight. Mostly sunny tomorrow and warmer. Middle 60s for a high. You can thank the sun and the west winds for the impressive warm-up tomorrow afternoon. And uh, five days looking good. Uh, temperatures bouncing around a little bit, but still for December, not too bad. It's yeah. coming up in the second half hour of the news. Sounds right. pretty good. Now, weather with meteorologist Jay Ritchie. You know, winter's starting up pretty soon, officially, by the calendar. It gets here Monday, December 22nd. Gets here early, too. 104. It's not going to feel like winter. We're looking at temperatures in the 50s and 60s. It'll be a rather warm beginning, official beginning to the winter season. We hit the upper 50s today. Some spots got into the 60s. We should do that and then some by the end of the weekend. 59, the official high out of DFW this afternoon. Skies are clear. Big cell of high pressure sitting right over the state of Texas, holding off the clouds and obviously holding off the precip as well. Gradually, this high will move to the east as it does. We're going to see a disturbance work in from the west, interact with some gulf moisture, and give us a chance for rain. That won't be until Monday. The weekend's looking great. A little cool during the nighttime hours, but not too bad. 34, though, already in Corinth. Meacham, a bit warmer, right down 35 at 45. 42 in Love Field. Plano's got 44. Upper 30s in McKinney 
and in Terrell. Lower to middle 30s for lows tonight, so that's where we start off Saturday, but we've got sunshine going on all day long. South winds will start to increase, so we'll push those high temperatures into the middle 60s tomorrow afternoon. Middle 40s right now at DFW, middle 30s up in Amarillo and Oklahoma City. 40s and 50s through the hill country, 53 right now in Brownsville. we got the 30s, 40s, and 50s statewide this evening. Again, 45 at DFW. The dew point and relative humidity are low. There isn't a whole lot of moisture in the air. But these south winds will gradually increase over the course of the weekend. As the south wind increases, the humidity is going to increase as well. we got a disturbance on the west coast right now. It's causing some rain. And uh, along the Pacific Coast, mainly in central and northern California. It will gradually work in and interact with this uh, gulf flow of moisture, and it's going to give us not only a chance of showers, but some thunderstorms. But again, that won't be until Monday. The weekend is looking warm and dry, but that moisture is not too far off by Sunday night. So tomorrow, Saturday, we're in good shape. High pressure in place, clear skies, mostly sunny. As the high backs off or moves out, the winds will start to increase behind that high. So we've got breezy conditions tomorrow. Officially, it will be windy for Sunday. But look what those south winds are going to do. Push that warmth all the way up as far north as Denver. 59 degrees. The high in Denver tomorrow afternoon. Here we go. Closer look at things. The precip cast. The clouds work in by Sunday. But again, it will be a dry weekend. Clear skies tonight. Mid-30s. And a light wind Saturday. Pretty nice looking Saturday, mostly sunny, and high temperatures will be in the mid-60s if you're headed to beautiful Texas Stadium to see the Cowboys take on the Giants. Kickoff at noon, it'll be partly cloudy, and it will be windy. Temperatures at kickoff time will be in the upper 60s. We could hit the 70s during the game. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Terrific. Be more like the first game of the season, weather-wise. Yeah. Not bad. Super. Mm -hmm.